Hello right bags, it's Jade. Welcome to a grounded guide on how to unlock all of the free pieces of Koi armor and pretty much how to get Koi scales and the sunken bones, which you'll need for so many brand new items in the latest pond update. Don't forget to like, make sure to subscribe, to go and check out all my other tutorials, particularly stuff to do with the water update. Let's go. So before we go and show you how to get the actual Koi scales, you are going to need some of the lily pad wax. These little balls will be floating underneath some of the lily pads. They do end up respawning, so don't worry, just keep going around and grabbing more. You're also going to need some of the eel grass that's in the water, and there's loads of it. You need these two items to make some of the Koi armor sets, so you're going to also need to find a tool to cut the eel grass. It doesn't work with just an axe, you're going to need the special brand new daggers. As soon as you pick up your first piece of wax, it will unlock the dagger, as well as something extremely useful, some brand new flippers. These will help you swim and glide through the water a bit easier, and particularly you're going to have to go very deep to get the coir scales and the bones. The peblet daggers, two peblets, two pieces of crude rope, and two lily pad wax. Go ahead, jump into the water, and start attacking any pieces of the grass you see, and it should drop some of the eel fibre. So that's the basics out of the way, now let's go and show you where you can get the koi scales. Now, surprisingly, you don't necessarily get them from the big koi fish that's in the pond. This koi fish is extremely dangerous, although my game was bugging out and it didn't seem to be hitting me too much, but I do know from other players it kills you normally within one hit, so you've got to be very careful when swimming around it. Now I have seen it in some of the grounded discord to that you can go ahead and try harvesting the scales from the fish directly by using a knife and attacking it you should be able to get some. But I tried this with a bunch of different tools and weapons and I didn't seem to be getting any scales. And there is a much easier way where you don't risk getting killed or drowning or killed by other creatures. There are three ways that you can get to the lower portion of the pond where you're going to find the koi and the bones. You're going to need to come over here for the middle part. This is the fishing net that's into the water or the sunken pot which is underneath. So go right to the edge of this net here and then dive into the water and you should pretty much find that sunken pot. It is obviously very murky and there wasn't too many enemies or creatures down here whereas some of the other entrances have a lot more diving bell spiders. Go right underneath the pot and you should find a little hole once I've decided to go and get that little bit of tadpole meat and had a little mooch around to see what else there was. But inside you'll find a little entrance way and this is going to take you to the lower portion. And this is probably one of the easiest ways to go and get some of the stuff alongside going close to where the dinosaur statue is. It's extremely dark in this section, but I did find a bone, and you're gonna need a shovel to dig it out. This is the sunken bone that you're gonna to need to make a lot of the harpoon weapons in the future, as well as obviously right now, the bone dagger and the uh, trident. As soon as you pick up your first piece of bone, it unlocks the bone dagger for you to go ahead and craft. You might also recognize this as the place where you've got to switch on all of these switches to activate the secret underwater lab. But we're not really here for that today, we're just getting the bones and getting the koi pieces. Now at the moment on test live servers, the koi pieces are actually in a small amount of mud and it doesn't have a proper texture on it. Not until you dig that first piece of muddy scale out and then you'll see the bright orange of the actual scale itself. So obviously you're going to need certain things to make sure you can breathe a lot longer down here. There isn't as many oxygen plants so you are going to need either the brand new rebreather, one of the diving suits or obviously some smoothies which you can use to help you get some extra breath. Definitely you might want to consider getting yourself a slime lantern which is pretty easy to make and you get that when you first pick up the wax and stuff and it will show the way in these dark areas. Torches will not work, you have to use one of these lanterns. And that's pretty much it, just keep going around all of the ground and see if you can find either the sunken bones or the muddy scales. You should find at least 12 to 14 pieces of bone and more or less the same of the scales, maybe a bit less. So you will have to keep coming here daily to see if it's respawned or not. So another location you can go into is just by the Coca-Cola can and the upturned pot on land. If you dive all the way down, keeping close to the wall, you should find the little entrance way. And you can see you've got the Frisbee there as well. And this is another way into that underground section area where you're gonna find more of the koi scales and the bones. Again, this was another simple, easy way wasn't as many enemies around here as well and you should be able to find some as you dive deeper and this will be on the other end of the underwater laboratory so and here you go here is another muddy scale we've dug it up and now we can pick up the normal ones 
And now the last place. So right by the pagoda, you're gonna find the entrance to the T-Rex zone, just about here, next to this plant that's coming up. Dive down, and you should find a cable that goes into a small opening, and this is where you find the shrunken T-Rex, or sunken, as he should be known, instead of shrunken. You'll also get oxygen here as well, so don't worry. It should be 500 science points as well. Now this is probably the easiest way to get some of the scales and the bones as well. Just make sure you bring a few potions with you or you keep going back over and getting some oxygen from the sunken T-Rex. And this obviously leads you to the entrance again to where the underwater laboratory is too. You can go ahead and scan the scales and it's gonna unlock the following items. You'll be able to get all three pieces of the armor sets. So you do need to scan it first and there you go, all three pieces of the Koi armor. If you've managed to unlock a lot of the other stuff, then the bone will pretty much unlock just the second upgrade of the diving helmet or the bubble helmet. And this is the best one you can use for diving in the water at the moment. That bubble helmet, you're gonna need at least five pieces of sunken bone, four eel grass, and four silk rope to craft. And you are gonna need to do it at a crafting bench. For the Koi armor suit, you're gonna need 10 pieces of the fish scales to make all three armor pieces. You need seven eel grass strands, seven lily pad wax, five sunken bones and three silk rope. You can see its bonus is perfect block. And if you wear all three pieces, you would also get another bonus, which is like stunning repost. So pretty much does a lot more damage, I think after you've defended and deflected an enemy's attack, and it will help you do perfect attacks a lot more. It takes a while to master doing the perfect defenses though, and I'm pretty rubbish at it. Stats of the arm piece themselves, well, pretty much they're not as good as the ladybug armor, but they're still reasonably pretty decent at defense. One thing to note is that the actual helmet from the Koi set doesn't actually help you underwater. The other two, the gill tube, gives you at least like 80 seconds underwater, and the bubble helmet gives you 160, but the Koi helmet pretty much is the same as wearing no helmet, so it doesn't actually help you breathe. So if you're gonna go get resources, don't wear the Koi helmet set. This Koi armor set is really about actually just taking on other creatures, even on land, or maybe facing off against a bunch of bell spiders in just a bit of combat if you're looking for something particular. But otherwise, yeah, it's pretty rubbish actually exploring underwater with this armor set. For the upgraded dagger, you're gonna need two pieces of bone, two pieces of spider silk, and one water boat fin. So it's gonna be really good. It does more, more or less the same damage as a ax. It's slightly less stun, but it's a lot faster. Same goes for the bone trident as well. Lots of speed, not as much stun, but a bit more damage. For that one, you're gonna need three pieces of bone, two water boatman fins, and three eel grass. This is a pretty OP weapon. It moves incredibly fast and it does do a lot of damage. You'll be able to take out a enemy spider or orb weaver pretty much in one stamina drain with this weapon. So there you go guys, that is everything you need to know about getting the Koi armor set, the trident and the knife or dagger upgrades or the daggers themselves. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have, please make sure you like, go and check out all the other stuff and follow me on Twitter or join my Discord to keep up to date with survival games as well as obviously Grounded. Until next time, Ratbags, I'll catch you later.